Well, welcome again to another latest launch for Isla Mirada Boatworks and Stewart Boatworks. This is the ever popular 24 Mirada Bay Boat. Um, having it in a nice ice blue, this boat's actually on its way to Savannah in a couple days. Uh, as you can see from the, the forward section here of the hull, this is the sharp entry that the boat is known for, along with the 20 degree dead rise at the stern. Of course, the boat's resin infused, all components, the stringers are infused in the hull at the time that the hull's infused. Then the deck's infused and they're bonded together. Uh, some other features maybe we haven't talked about before. This is the optional trailer from Float On that um, we can provide other brands, but this is the brand that we specifically have had designed to fit the bottom of the hull. It's a welded version of the float on with the custom aluminum mags, uh, all stainless steel hardware. And of course, float on has uh, aluminum supports as opposed to wood supports for the hull itself. That's a big feature. Um, Minn Kota Tarova 36 volt trolling motor with a quick disconnect mount. Um, any brand could be put on there, any, any model, but this seems to be our most popular. Nice stainless steel rub rail with insert, Lavorsi LED lights, the, the, the lights are standard, the uh, stainless rub rail is an option. And we will climb in and hop in the boat now and give you another look at what's going on inside. So one of the neat things we did here on the deck of this boat, something we will do going forward, is we've eliminated the wire from the trolling motor running across the deck and going down into the anchor locker. We had one client who said, geez, you'd really like to leave that clean, and we're all about that as well. So now the wire goes directly down below. It now then travels through the anchor locker and still connects in its normal location up against the anchor locker bulkhead. Uh, but it's a lot cleaner in terms of fishability, and it's also, I guess, you know, certainly less of a trip hazard uh, if you're up here throwing a cast net or anything. So that's a nice move. Um, just quickly, anchor locker with an anchor chute, real nice and deep. You've seen this on previous videos. Uh, moving aft, large compartment that can be utilized in a number of ways. Uh, this then has another access hatch below it to get into more storage if you choose to have it that way. You can also not have that hatch and have that make, made that into a insulated fish box that would drain directly overboard. Of course our rod locker storage. Allows you to store about four rods per side, depending on the makeup of the rod and the reel. And then have additional area for day bags and things of that nature, tackle bags and so forth that you carry on and off. So one thing I often forget to point out is that uh, the boat comes standard with eight rod holders, four per side down each gunnel. And they are of the type where the fasteners are hidden, which makes it very attractive. Um, this has the optional Yeti uh, drink holders, two forward and two aft. Uh, also, this gentleman opted for the fresh water option, which is 29 gallons of fresh water. So the standard fuel is 109. If you opt for 29 gallons of fresh water, it reduces the fuel to 80 gallons, which is still substantial for this size boat. Um, you could select a smaller amount of fresh water if you wanted to. We haven't done that yet, but there's no reason why not. Just get the tank built differently. So we go to the console. Um, of course, it has the standard Yeti cooler with cushion. Top access into the locker. Gives you access to the C-Zone system, which is your uh, digital switching system with a built-in analog backup, so you won't get caught on the water if any one item were to fail. Battery switches, circuit breakers, and, and the sort. If I close this, move the Yeti, and open
open the bottom door, oops, wait, the top door open, it allows you to see the, uh, the three batteries. These are Group 31 North Star AGM batteries. Uh, a shelf that covers those batteries, easily removable with four screws. And also the um, power pole pumps are located here next to the batteries out of the bilge. All based on, you know, decisions made with the customer. So on this particular boat with no top, which is common uh, with no top, a uh, low windshield was ordered. He also opted for four aluminum rod holders on the on this console side. You can order three, four, or five, depending on your taste. Um, the handrails are standard when you get no top. He opted for a 12-inch Simrad. JL Audio Stereo Head, and instead of a single Mercury uh, tachometer, he opted to upgrade to the Mercury Vessel View gauge. Um, C-Zone digital switching here, it's also, you can operate it on the Simrad, that's one of the big benefits of, of the digital switching system. Uh, Edson wheel, power knob, this is an option, but you know adds a nice little touch to it. Um, you get a standard steering wheel, of course, <laughs> uh, if you don't opt for the Edison. You know, Lanco trim tabs, indicators, glove boxes, a couple of them here, one here. Um, then access into the back side of the console here to get back to your power steering pump and, a, and amplifiers for the stereo. Uh, this particular stereo is kind of our norm. It's got four 8x8. Uh, JL Audios with an amplifier for them and then a 10 inch subwoofer with an amplifier for that. Okay, before moving further aft, I didn't want to overlook the second GPS antenna for the trolling motor. Some people aren't aware that uh, the newer Minn Kotas actually have two GPSs. Big advantage of that is when you hit the anchor mode, boom, it stops immediately instead of drifting and trying to find itself. So that's where we put it on a boat that's got no top. Uh, we come back to the bird saw leaning post. Uh, it's especially built for the Automarada 24 dimensionally. Uh, looks similar to other bird saws, but specifically this was designed for this size boat. Storage compartment below, four rod holders, two drink holders, a little rigging station, and room below for another 65 Yeti cooler or other brands that, that you so choose. As you move aft, this is the, the uh, stern seat option for the boat. Um, some people will fish the boat with these cushions removed. They remove that easily. Um, so it gives a little bit better access into these compartments of this particular boat. This customer opted for this to be a second live well. This can be um, just storage. It could be an insulated fish box. It can be a, a Another 30 gallon live well like it is here. It can have a recirculating pump in it. You can put bubbler in it and so forth. Uh, but in this case, he went for uh, a secondary live well. On the center line is the standard live well. It's a 30 gallon live well again. Um, nice, deep. Same scenario, it can be recirculating pump, you can put a bubbler in it, and so forth. You can put a backup pump if you're into tournament fishing and don't want to run the risk of losing your bait, and so forth. With the stern seat backrest removed, this lid folds all the way aft. So if you're dumping a cast net or something like that, you can do it with no problem. On this side, on this boat, it's simply a storage compartment. He, he did not opt to uh, making an optional live well. 30 gallons, again, if, if, if you were so chosen, you'd have 90 gallons of live bait here across the stern. Uh, next, we go to bilge access. You're not gonna see down in there, but I just wanna point out that from where I stand here, I can see both the uh, seacock handles, I can see the live well pumps, um, so everything is literally accessible. The bilge pumps, the float switches, there's no difficulty, there's nothing hidden in the bilge. You can get right to it. 
and it's fiberglass hatch, and of course, the gen locks lock it down. This guy ordered a 400 Merc, you know, why not? Uh, this boat was actually run um, and propped by the guys at Mercury, and this boat ran exactly 70 miles per hour at 7,025 RPMs. Atlas jack plate, he opted for two power poles. One is standard, he opted for two eight foot power poles. Um, swim platform and ladder, it may be difficult to see from there, but he opted for that. Uh, and that's the boat. That's the, that's the boat, um, the way he wanted it. We can build a boat for you the way you want it. Thanks for watching.